Hi, this is a demonstration of TigerGraph's Enterprise Graph Test Drive Kit using a dataset from Crunchbase, a leading database about startup companies and their investors. Let's start by looking at the graph schema. Our schema has 10 vertex types and about 24 edge types. The hub of our schema is company in blue. Most of the other vertex types connect directly to company. Other major vertex types are person, dark green, financial org, red brown, and milestone, light blue. Closer in are product, light green, funding rounds, purple, and IPO, pink. These last two really speak to the Silicon Valley-like startup focus of the Crunchbase database. Finally, we have office, funds, and university vertex types. I won't go over all the edge types, except to note that there are two types of self-edges for a company. A company can acquire another company, and a company can invest in another company. Also, note that we do not have self-edges for person. This is not a casual social network database. Any relationship from one person to another must go through an edge to a specific vertex type to indicate the type of relationship, such as works for company or investment from person. If we now click over to the load data panel, we can see how big is our graph. We have almost 700,000 vertices and almost 1.8 million edges. These are split up among the many different vertex and edge types. Now let's look at the queries for the Crunchbase test drive. All of the queries here are designed to be questions that a potential investor or potential employee might ask. The find promising startup based on board query is our most complex query. We are seeking startup companies that have good board members. Our intuition for what is a good board member is someone who comes from a big venture capital firm and who personally has been on the board of several successful startup companies. There are four input parameters, three of them integers, N, K1, K2, which we'll talk about later, and an investment funding round threshold. First, we find the top K1 financial organizations, ranked according to the amount of money invested in the last N years. So there are two of our integer parameters. Top K1 financial organizations, uh, ranked according to how much money they invested in the last N years. Then, we find all the persons who work for one of those top uh, venture capital firms. Let's call these persons big investors. Now pick the top K2 big investors ranked according to how many times they have served on the board of a successful startup. Again, success means that the company had its IPO or was acquired. Finally, all the companies who have had one of these top big investors currently on their board and which have not passed to the funding round threshold input parameter. So we're looking for companies who are still um, in a relatively early stage according to the funding round threshold that was specified as an input parameter and uh, who have one of these big investors on their board. For uh, an example, let us look at investments over the past 15 years. So N is 15. The top eight firms, the top one investor, and we will set the uh, funding round threshold to A. So here's our query result. And let's and set some settings here so we can display some of the attributes. For company, we want to see the company name. And for person, we also want to see the name. And for the financial organization, we want to see all of their names. And for the IPO, we want to know um, when it occurred, 
And for the funding round, we want to see which round it was. What is its funding round code? And finally, how, how much money was raised? When we selected some investment companies as big investment companies, how did we decide that they were big? Okay, and we'll just pick a couple more. We're almost done here. And yeah, when if a firm uh, had an IPO or was acquired, when did that take place? Here we go. Uh, IPO. Okay, now let's, uh, let's clean up our display a little bit. We'll uh, select the force layout. Okay, in here we see this person, Jim Getz. So he is our top investor according to this selection criteria. And he has had four successful IPOs. Um, you see five, but one of them is actually a company that has not yet had an IPO. And he is a partner of Axel. And here are all the funding, uh, the investments that Axel made. So that's why we considered Axel a, a big investment firm. And Jim Getz works for him. And there um, in the upper right pocket game, Pocket Gems. This is the company that has not yet gone public. You can see it's in funding round A. So if you were looking for a promising startup, according to this criteria, we selected Pocket Gems and for, for those reasons. Okay, so now we're going to look at a, a query, find promising startup based on leader. In this query, we are looking to find startups who are led by someone who has had past success with startup companies. There are three input parameters, another funding round threshold, an integer limit K, and a market sector. Startups typically have several rounds of investment funding. A company that is still in the very early rounds is riskier, but the potential rewards are greater. So here's the specific logic for this query. First, we find all companies who have had an IPO or who have been acquired. We consider this a successful company. Uh, at least that is success for a startup. Then we measure who worked for a successful company and who is now a founder of another company that has not yet passed the funding round threshold that was one of our input parameters um, and which is also within the market sector that we specified as another input parameter. Finally, we take the top K selected startup companies that have passed all our filters so far. Top K ranked according to the number of successes that their founders have been associated with. So again, we're trying to find startups that have leaders with a lot of past success. So let's try an example with these parameters. We will select angel investing round, that is the very first one, um, top five companies and the mobile sector. And when we run the force layout, we get these five little trees and that's because we select, we designated five companies. So we again, we will uh, choose some attributes to display Okay, let's apply these settings. Let's expand the display to full screen. And let's zoom in. So let's zoom in on this one on the left. For this company, Tachera, the co-founder is James Hunvanich, 
and he has previously worked for these four successful startups. Lower My Bills, which was acquired by Experian. Uh, he worked for them in 2004, and they were acquired in 2005. He also worked for Accenture for a short time uh, in 2001, and Movox, um, he was a VP of Technology in 2008. So he moved up from software engineer at Accenture. So that is the find promising startup based on leader query. This is the investor successful exits query. The investor successful exits query aims to measure the success of an investor. Um, this is not necessarily a human investor. It could be a person, could be a company, or it could be a financial organization like a venture capital firm. So given a particular investor, this query finds all the companies that they invested in which successfully exited within a given number of years. There are three input parameters, the investor name, the investor type, and the number of years. So as I said, there are three types of investors, persons, companies, and financial organizations. Also, there are two ways of being successful for a company to have an IPO or to be acquired. So let's try this example. We'll start off with the investor as Google, which is a company, and we'll give it a five-year window. So that means that there should be success within five years after Google's investment. So here's the resulting graph. Let's uh, redraw it. So we will pick some attributes. And we'll apply them. So you see it makes this nice uh, sort of spider. And naturally, Google is at the center. So we'll zoom in a bit. And we see that Google had eight successful investments. So for example, Google invested in Baidu in 2004. And then Baidu had an IPO in 2005. So there was success within one year. And Google invested during the C round. So it wasn't an early, early investor. OK, let's try another example. Let's go back to the query. and. This time we'll try a, a financial investment firm, Accel Partners. And we will give it only a one year window. And run the query, clean up the layout. And we see a pretty good size network. So Axel had a lot of success even within within that one year. And one more query. So this time let's take a successful person. Um, we'll look at the well-known investor Reed Hoffman and we'll give him 10 years. And over 10 years, he has been associated with many, many successful startups. So that is the investor successful exits query. Let's now look at the key role discovery query. This is the simplest of our queries. This one is looking for persons who have played a key role 
for a given company or um, played a key role with an investor company or an investor of an investor company to a depth of K companies. Um, what I mean by investor company is a company that acquired the child company. So you can think of this as a parent-child relationship. So again, we are searching for persons who had key roles, such as being a board member, um, being a founder, or a C-level officer. So we're looking for persons who are associated either with the named company in the query or with um, a parent of that company or a parent of a parent up to a depth of K. So let's try an example. We will use Alibaba as the company and to a depth of 3. So here is our output. You can see this nice network around each of the companies. Let's select some attributes. We want names, person names, and we want to see the title on the edges. What was the job title of the person? So if we zoom in a bit, we can see at the top is Alibaba. So this was our input company. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six key persons associated. Eddie Wu, Jack Ma. Jack Ma is the CEO. And then we see this link to another company, to Yahoo. So Yahoo invested in Alibaba. Uh, Yahoo is like the parent. And uh, Yahoo has had many key persons in the Crunchbase database. And then we have two other parents. Down here is Reuters, and over here in the far left is SoftBank. So that's our, our depth of three, going from Alibaba to Yahoo to SoftBank, and their network of key persons around each of them.